Hi, I'm Dr. Dave, and I wanted to talk to you about writing and why writing really can help you out. Specifically, I want to talk about a writing exercise I made up called the Three Minute Mental Makeover. Now, one of the first questions people ask me is, why are you doing writing? You are a heart doctor, and that's true. I am a pediatric cardiologist. And the reason that I got into writing initially was because of several things, but I noticed that life is full of a few bumps. And one of the bumps that happens when you're doing what I do is little kids can get sick if they have a heart problem and occasionally they can die. And I, I would get very upset by that. I still get upset by it. Um, and I found that journaling really was helpful for me. And I started looking into it and I found out that actually there's a lot of science showing that writing can be helpful for a number of medical conditions. So people who have asthma, if they do expressive writing, they write about difficult things in their life, their asthma gets better. People with high blood pressure, it lowers their blood pressure. People who have HIV, their immune function gets better. People with skin problems, uh, skin punch biopsies, heal up faster when you do expressive writing. So a lot of quite different things. And I thought, well, this is really great. Once I learned about this through reading through the scientific literature, I'm a doctor, I take care of kids with heart problems and um, you know some adults with heart problems. And I see them stressed out in the intensive care unit. What can I use? How do I help them write? And there was nothing in the literature. Um, I first tried telling people you should do some writing and they were like, no, I don't like to write. So I thought, well, I need to help them out. So I looked around since I couldn't find anything. I made something up. I tried a few other things that didn't work, which I'm not going to bore you with. But I hit on this thing called the three minute mental makeover. And this thing totally, totally works. But we did a research project to find out how much it helped people. So first of all, let me tell you what the three minute mental makeover is. So I get out a piece of paper or a notebook and I hand a notebook to one of my patients and I get out my notebook and I say, we're gonna to write together. And the first thing is we write three things that we're grateful for and we're very specific. The second thing is we write the story of our life in exactly six words, which sounds impossible, but it's not. And the third thing is we each write three wishes that we have. Like you pretend you rub a magic lamp, a genie comes out and says, I'll grant you any three wishes. I write my wishes down, the patient or the family writes their wishes down. And then we share it. That's the three minute mental makeover. So we conducted a research project on the effects of the three minute mental makeover. And we had doctors and nurses and other healthcare providers working with their patients in clinical situations. So in the hospital, out of the hospital, are you having a hard time? Yes. Would you like to learn something that might help? Sure. And then we did a survey of uh, saying how stressed out you were. And then we did the writing exercises. And then we again asked, how stressed are, are you after doing the three minute mental makeover? And what we did is we had a total of 96 patients and families. We had eight healthcare providers, which were doctors, nurses, and other health practitioners. We had a total of 152 surveys. What we found out was really interesting because uh, it turns out that everybody is stressed out. So 100% of people felt some kind of stress or other. And it turns out that it had a significant improvement in the stress level. So if you look at the slide showing the median ranking of perceived stress in communication, uh, this is a one to five scale. So five would be the most stressed out, one would be minimal stress. And the health practitioners were the blue and they went from a four down to a two and it was highly significant. The patients and families um, in these health situations were also at a four and they went down to a median of a three, but also statistically significant. So the stress level went down. So then we asked, how is the level of communication with your healthcare provider and or with your patient? So on the right hand side of the graph, you can see the blue is the healthcare providers ranked the communication level at a four out of five, so pretty good, and it went up to a five out of five. And the median for the patients and families was four uh, from a five to a five. The actual number is 4.7 to 4.8. So they ranked us very highly. The people doing this three minute mental makeover, we all felt there's good communication. And let me tell you that communication in the health care field is sometimes not always the best, but among these patients, among these doctors, it's good. So I believe using the three minute mental makeover, it helps communication. And if you help communication, it helps your healing, it helps your health. Um, so the next slide I wanted to, you to look at was, have you used journaling in the past? Why is a three minute mental makeover working? Well, maybe they've done writing before. Well, it turns out that is not the case. So the people in the red and the orange said, no, I have not done journaling before. The yellow is neutral. 
Um, maybe I've done a little writing, maybe not. And the green is the people who have done writing. So about a third of the people said, yes, I've done writing in the past. But was this helpful? Was the three minute mental makeover helpful for you? This is patients and families. And it turns out, yes, it was helpful. Dark green is very helpful. Light green is helpful. And yellow is neutral. Nobody said it wasn't helpful. Out of all 96 patients and families, they found it very helpful. We asked them, what did you like about it? And these are the comments that we got. Um, time, true sincerity, care, concern, passion, deeper, more personal, feel like a real team, sharing with my mom and doctor, made me think of things other than the present. I was able to write something down that I usually don't do, and my favorite ones are, it's easy to do and it's short. So that's what people liked about the three minute mental makeover. So when we call people up two years later and ask them, do you use writing with your patients? Initially, we're two out of the eight people or 25% said that yes, we use writing with their patients. When we called them up two years later, we said, do you sometimes use writing with your patients? Seven out of eight people used it. So we think that it is something that is usable and doable. When we asked patients, are you using expressive writing to deal with difficult times? It turns out that once people had had this one-time exposure to doing using expressive writing, that it was something that was helpful for them. And so on the left-hand side, you see the patients and families. And so some of them had used writing before, but afterwards, two years later, yes, they use writing when they're having a tough time. So it actually changed their behavior. And with the doctors and nurses, they did sometimes use journaling to help with stress, but afterwards, more of them used it. So I would say, in my experience, it's a really helpful thing. I think you should give it a try. Check out the other video where I'm gonna lead you through a three-minute mental makeover.